Start using a camera isn't that easy because sometimes it can seem a bit confusing and complex. But today I want to give you six basic tips to start using your camera. So let's get started. Welcome back here to my YouTube channel. I'm Simone Bortolotti and let's immediately start with the first tip of this video that is to completely forget about the auto mode on your camera because if you want to do everything automatically you can just use your smartphone to take photos. In fact I believe that start using a camera means to learn how to use the manual mode and so working and managing with all the parameters of your camera. Once you have selected the manual mode you need to understand the three basics to use your camera that are the shutter speed, the camera aperture and the ISO. So these three parameters are quite complex to explain, but I will try to keep it short. The shutter speed is the amount of time in which the shutter of your camera will be open to take the light for the photo. So for example, if you have to take a photo to a person who is walking, it's better if you keep a faster shutter speed, like in the photo you are seeing that I shot at a 400th of a second. But instead, if you set a too slower shutter speed, your image may be blurred due to the movements of your hands or of the subject, as you are seeing in this photo that I shot at a half of a second. And so I would say that you just need to understand if your subject is static or dynamic and from this you just need to set the most suitable shutter speed for that scenery. The following thing is the camera aperture, that is the opening of the lens diaphragm through which the light passes. Here are two different photos of the same subject with different camera apertures. So, the one on the left is at f4.0, but instead the one on the right is at f16. As you can notice, the lower you set the camera aperture, the more blur you will get around your subject, along with a higher quantity of light coming into the camera sensor. But instead, with a higher camera aperture, there will be a lighter bokeh effect in the background and your image will look darker, just because there's less space on the lens diaphragm through which the light can pass. And finally, the ISO is the camera's sensitivity to light. So, lower ISO light 100 means that the camera sensor will receive less light, but your image will be extremely cleaner. But instead, with higher ISO levels there will be lots of more light in your images but even more digital noise in some specific situations, like in the dark during a sunset or at night. So combined together, these three parameters adapt differently to the context, to the subject, but even to your style and so the real challenge for the photographer is to find the best combination in every specific scenery. If you are interested in this topic, just let me know down in the comments or just leave a like so that I can make an in-depth video about this. The third tip is to shoot in both JPEG and RAW. The JPEG is a more finished photo with some edits made directly from your camera. But on the other end, the RAW file gives you the chance to have a photo with lots of more information and so to work more easily on it during the photo editing process. The tip number four in fact is to start learning photo editing. I've already made a video about this topic but to sum up I would say that nowadays photo editing is necessary to bring your pictures to the next level. Typically photos on cameras are a bit flat and so some adjustments with a photo editing app can help you make your photo better looking and unique. The fifth tip is a thing that I've learned throughout tiers of taking photos that is to shot a bit wider. So let me explain. When you're snapping some photos, remember sometimes to zoom slightly out from the ideal perfect composition that you have pictured in your mind. Afterwards, during the photo editing process, you will have the chance to resize the image as you prefer. So for example, to 16 to 9 for the Instagram stories or to 4 to 5 for the Instagram posts. Last but not least, the composition is extremely important in photography. In my opinion, even more than all the technical tips that we've mentioned before. And among all the composition tips, I would say that the rule of thirds 
is the real game changer in photography. In fact, it consists in a really simple grid made up of four different lines, true vertical and true horizontal. So you can place your subject in the center, on the intersection or just following one of the lines and by doing this you are going to notice that the composition of your pictures will get extremely better. So just try it and you will catch the difference. So yeah, here you have the six basic tips to start using your camera. First of all, huge thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel to not miss the upcoming content. So guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.